Lur Mestur. <laughs> so, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Uh, why not? This, I'm sure this poss won't possibly have any negative to Vivian, ramifications. May you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, uh, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. She can be like a hideous Love's witch. Not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. You know, beauty Actually, fades, right? You don't know her all that well either. Oh, hey, it's you. Dropped something. Demand <laughs> satisfaction. You've insulted me twicely. And twicely ought to be enough. You refuse to duel? Then I shall show you how I treat cowards. Aren't you a big man? I love the two of them smile. Oh, uh, rolling out the shoulders. Get down on the ground, bitch. Three nothing, Ty. Might want to give some serious thought to whether <laughs> you want to so face me up. for a fourth. I shall kill you, freak! You got your chance, sir. You failed to seize it, and now you must leave. I shall meet again, mutant. Ah, uh, sore loser. Like the person that was <laughs> clapping into the end. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives. Strive for greatness. Yet, what armor am I wearing? It's for this quest. combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your and none others honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Gregoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, He's a big make dude. merry, revel as you will. How Yet huge be mindful is. of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Oh yeah, no, this isn't the Geralt of Rivia armor. This is the... Oh God. Uh, something of four horns honor, uh, armor. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. Ravik you must yeah, help. Ravik's a four horn. Confront Vivian. Monsters, wildcat, they don't scoundrel, ever seeking Lady Vivian. Some kind of maniac. I'd say a wolf, but it has the eyes of a cat. Excuse me, madam. Hmm, strange. 
was sure I'd find her here. Uh, blood find expensive. 14 L's of cloth. Shoes of dragon skin. Racing saddle, magic cream. Is she the bird? We saw the, yeah, I was gonna say, we saw the bird earlier. Flew off, worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. I bet it's gonna be Vivian. Or a witch or something. Night's Panther now. Yay. Cookie Nerdly, have a great night, dude. Oh my god, another one? Bird, please. Bird, you little shit. Oh. Trying to get me killed. Panthers. Drop good stuff. Are you serious? Nope. Nope. They don't, they don't even drop good gear. Nope. Bro. Why are there so many Panthers? <laughs> what, what kind of strange hellhole have we walked into? The place is just crawling with them. Scary, dude. Bird. Yeah, I, I realized too late I was using. Whatever, leave me alone. Over the 
hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. I'm sure this isn't a trap. Bird is doing everything in his damn power to kill our ass. Oh, I'm also in shitty gear. Ah, oh, that's much better. Where to now, horrifying assassin bird? Nope. There she is. Whoa, is she a harpy? Something? Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you. That I want it done here, in this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. Whoa. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? She's a really cool design hmm only thing I've figured out so far is you're no danger to anyone hope to learn more though if you've no contract on my life why take an interest at all did Guillaume put you up to it is that why he wanted to help you asked me to do him a favor frankly if I can do something for you I'll do it willingly why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone? Um... I will be discreet. I swear this on the Heron. You mock me. No, it's just... You want reassurances. Too many. If you want my help, you've got to trust me. Won't peep a word to anyone, unless I decide someone needs to be let in on your secret. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told Wrong me. Wrong dialogue choice? Yeah, yeah, I noticed. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. Mm. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Kind of an asshole creature. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young. 
too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. Huh. What happened after that? Nothing at first. No, it doesn't I sound like Gaunter. The world There's no deal. Normal child, Something else. And my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially, only when the moon was full. But now, it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus, I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human form a final farewell. Interesting. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? I could try. Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent's life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. Oh, she's a sweet so girl, too. another. <sighs> Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Amir used to be a hedgehog, really? <laughs> All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we? I want to. I want to track down this. I want to track down this douchebag That's creature and slap the shit out of it. Gonna... Uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. Oreos have a seven-year lifespan. Is that what their baseball team sucks? <laughs> Rude. Oh. I like how the game's like, ah, oh, yes, girl, cute gentleman. And the camera's like, eh. You can change it, Will. No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. I feel like there's got to maybe be a third way that we haven't thought of yet. Come. You heard what the lady said, chat. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's complicated. You can speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Uh... 
Oh, but dude, I promised. Like, listen, you're a bro, but I, I promised. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time, Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney this, to you... This conversation is I not going like now. how I expected it Do to go. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? Whoa, 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 chill. Chill, dude. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Yeah, hold up. That, yeah, that did not go at all like what I was expecting. God, I don't know where these left off. Where is this one? I expected that to be more like, uh, hey man, like, you're wanting to do this for the girls, so why don't we respect the girls' wishes and, like, go from there? Save scum for the win? Always. Always. Okay, no, no, this is too recent. We want the one before this. Oh, nice. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about no, it. No, okay. But I'm, I'm curious if this will go how I think her. it will as well. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. The best you could do is stay out of it. We were both right, actually. It is a curse. One that's transforming Vivian into a bird. Her condition's getting worse. Gods! A curse that is a worse affliction than disease. What now? Can you help her? That'll depend on her. I'll try if she asks me. Significant risks involved, though. Shortening her life to about another seven years included. What? This is not what we agreed. Tough case. Curses hold on her grow stronger every day. And I'm a witcher, not a miracle worker. Heard of one other method that could work. Curse could be lifted via her reflection, say in a pool of water. Thing is, we'd need someone who'd willingly assume the burden of the curse. Take it on in her stead. You mean, become a bird themselves? Theoretically. See, curse grows weaker once it's transferred. Might end up as just an appetite for seeds and worms. All outcomes are on the table, though. Death included. I am prepared to sacrifice, give my life for her, just as King Friedank's knight did for the beautiful Queen Sero. Yeah, You're there already. But are you prepared to swallow bugs for the rest of your life? <laughs> yes. No, it's not very convincing. Which method do you believe to be best for Vivian? Don't know yet. But you have some notion, have you not? Do not tell me you seriously consider drastically shortening her life when I stand prepared to shoulder the burden. Hmm. Hmm. Method using a pool of water is better poses no threat to Vivian. Naturally. Y you must know you can count on me. I shall bear it all. But Vivian, I fear she might be too proud to agree to such a thing. 
I'll meet her after the last contest. Talk to her. She could agree. I'm counting on you, Witcher, and I'm content we finally know something. What now? We know all, so you need not see the tourney through. You could withdraw. True, I shall get an earful from the Herald should you fail to show for the last no, contest. No, I want to I fight the giant. But it's giant. nothing I can't handle. So, what will it be? I'm going to fight that big bad. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. Want to know what happens if you pick the other one after the quest is over? But let's get, let's let the quest play out. Then you can tell me what happens. I know in the now the two teams' rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow. Do I have to go back into the quest armor? When a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, yes, knights okay. errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. If you swing your blade as deftly as you shoot, we shall win. Good luck. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. Uh, okay, but can I can I change my gear? Cause like y'all aren't as scary as those Panthers. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight full tilt till one drops to its knees. Whose virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must My sword is so much. My sword is race. so terrifying looking compared to the rest of them. <laughs> Let us begin! Clout, race ruckus! Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in buckets! For Tucson! Ah! Uh, Tucson! For the Dutch! Well, it's not letting me change. Ah. It won't let me open my inventory. Quite so glorious for showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Oh, uh... Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Raphix of Forhorn, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. 
to the tired remainder. Oh my god, he's still going. We salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. I know, I'm, I'm out here with poison blades, enchanted poison blades, and full, insanely heavy armor. <laughs> it is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? I'll be fine. Thanks, I'm fine. The brave knight Rafix hails from Forhorn. It might sound fictitious, yet there he was born. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, Victor of Lassis Tony. This guy's huge. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. They sink the crowns, the titans locked stairs, ferocious and spry as wolves hunting hares. Mesdames and Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequaled and silent Gregoire de Gorgon. All right, so apparently they don't care if I stay in my gear. Is he echoing for himself? Our sponsor? Bro, a wine fight can't just cut to commercial. Come on, Gregor, you gonna land a hit on me? I can do that too! Love the people that are like making the like screams like they're scared. Bro, you are a joke. Oh, oh, he hit me. What a push over. Rev fix of Fahorn, this year's champion, a sight to behold. He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon. Hail Ravix! Ravix! He is doing echoes. As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor nice to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon his love for his heart's captor, and it was doubtless this vow that carried him to this splendid victory! He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor, and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena! Pray me, to I'm awesome. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk will guard you. The least you should do is wave. Should have vowed for Anna Henrietta's garter next time. Speaking of sponsors, I got sponsor emails and you go check out. There might be some stupid shit we do on Twitch here in a little bit. Don't tell the sponsors I said that. Greetings, my lady. Have you decided? I have. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure. Want to tell you something, though. I think we should try the alternate method first. I was clear. It is out of the question. Let me finish. Second method's less than reliable. To put it simply, might work, might not. But it will. I shall save you, oh lovely Vivian. Bro. Why are you here, sir? This is a private conversation. Uh. Oh my god, I feel like a lot weighs on how I answer this. Hmm. 
like you do need to hear him out but like like he's genuinely coming from a good place he's not your foe got good intentions you guessed right he hired me but only because he wanted to help you be not angry my lady you no longer bear this burden alone i know all you told him bro why you gotta say I it like know that? a curse afflicts you a curse which grows more severe by the day i understand how you feel my aunt contes de lawnful once contracted a strange illness which ate away at her from the inside she grew weaker by the day the light fading from her eyes i remember her saying the worst was not the pain but losing mastery of her own body she was so helpless okay go i fear you feel the same the witcher knows a way to lift the curse from you and let it rest on me i wish to do this to take it from you vivian why good speech because i love you good speech kiddo good speech i might have died in the arena i sought to slay a shalemar for you but now i see the fool i was now i see how i risked my life for no purpose yet with this i can truly do something for you i do not wish to inflict this horror on anyone you saw how it looks Witcher. i turn to you as one elder and hopefully one wiser as well do you think this a good idea worth a try worth a try as i see it original curse fell on an unborn child doubt it'll take hold as strongly when transferred to a full-grown man you've now heard the expert opinion let us do this together vivian very well he's a good kid he's I a good kid prepared to die thus i'm also prepared to attempt something mad now we must go to my pool in the woods yes everything's agreed so no point wasting any more time let's go Hope you're ready to turn into a bird, dude. Papia Solaire, what is wrong with my posture? My posture is excellent. He's a model Bretonian knight. He he is a model. He is a model uh, representation of chivalry. Though I like that we actually get to see him going from being the typical headstrong knight errant type situation where he's like, oh, I'll kill a monster to impress her. That'll do it. The aunt you mentioned, what became of her? She passed on. Sounds like she had cancer. Die, beast! Seriously? What is with the Panthers? Good lord, I am sick of these things. Very little shit. Oh my god, that hits so much harder. Huh, it's nice when you're not having to hard mode it. Peasant! Peasant! There's your peasant. Sure, the Lady of the Lake will reward this act of heroism. Oh, she's revealing her, like, true self. Look at that. He so, takes that in stride. This is my true form. It is not too late. You may still change your mind. It will bring no shame. My mind is made up. My resolve is firm. If you can handle it, so will I. You are beautiful to me, even as you stand now. What a Chad. What a Chad, dude. This boy is full-on Quest Ignite material now. Or Night of the Realm, oh, that's rather. That's clearly rubbish. <laughs> He's like, little did you Shut know. Shut your eyes, both of you, and don't move. He's like, I actually have a monster girl fetish. This this works for me. <laughs> Very common no. in the internet age. Yes, my love. If you become as I am now, I wish you to know I shall not leave you. 
These kids are too cute. Picture yourselves reflected in a pool of water. Focus on that. Now, open your eyes. Damn. I think it might have worked. <laughs> Geralt's like, oh! I didn't think that would actually do anything. <laughs> He's in the panther corpse. I thought that was his body for a second. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what happened to him? Oh no, it's just the dead panther. It's okay. Honestly, didn't think this would work. Doubted anything would happen. Read about this ritual in grimoires. Descriptions all seemed dramatic, embellished. All stipulated a condition that seemed improbable. What condition was this? A real bond between those involved. Oh my God! True love. These kids, <sighs> bro. This is okay. All right. How do you feel, in general? You feel it change, Guillaume? Guillaume? <sighs> I was struck hard, as if by a battering ram. But now I, I feel not at all different, apart from a slight itch on my skin. Are you certain it worked? Well, yes, feathers. something happened, definitely. Must be an intersection beneath this pond. Powerful magic at work here. Look at Vivian. <laughs> now he's a zinch cultist. Little do we realize this is the origins what of now? Sartorial the Everwatcher. Now? Now you get to live together. Happily ever after. Still, watch yourselves carefully. Notice any troubling symptoms? Find me. Naturally. I thank you, Garrett. Oh, and your payment. Oh, at last. I've so much to make up for. Balls to attend, distant lands to see. Free at last, as a bird. Huh? I found you droll. I had not noticed before. But you will not fly away without me. That remains to be seen, I think. <laughs> but I Bro, do seriously? You, Witcher. You're Don't making bird it. puns you take immediately care of afterwards? They'll be fine. Bro's already working on his dad jokes at horribly inappropriate timing. Granted, granted, he's the one that may well turn into a giant bird thing now. So, you know, I guess it's fair for him to make those jokes. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings, Geralt. That was cute. That was a ridiculously cute quest. Like, you got to do, you get to do some really fun combat things, and then like, there's some obscenely adorable uh things you get to do. Three ability points. Oh, fuck. Check out the new sword. Ah, oh, yes. Fuck me, dude. That is a really good sword. 150 armor piercing damage, 50% bonus crit damage, 15% chance to crit with three empty slots. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Um. Wow, this one's even better. The sword we picked off that knight's um, grave. Look at this fucking thing. It's exactly that, but it also gives you better intensity. Damn, dude. Grail Knight. Oh, dude, Grail Knight, you must be loving this DLC. Like, this shit must be right up your alley, huh? Whoa there, Roach. But I think Grail Knight's onto something. I think... It's time... Call a knight. 